In this video, I'll show you how to format an external hard drive and then set it up specifically to be your backup for Time Machine. This video is for an external hard drive and not for an external SSD. I want to point out that the operation that we're going to do here will erase everything that's on your external hard drive. So if you're starting from a new hard drive, new external hard drive, no problem, but if you're using an older external hard drive that has items on it, you want to back those up first because, again, this will erase everything that's on your external hard drive. So be warned. Okay, we'll start out just by plugging in our external hard drive. And you should see it come up on your desktop or in a finder window. You can see if we scroll down, we see our Seagate expansion drive. Now, if it's not coming up, go into your finder, top left, go under preferences. And what you'd want to choose is these external disks. Okay. We have that. There's for our desktop under general. And then if we go to sidebar, we can see it here. And that's going to put it on our finder window. So that's how you can find those or get them up if they're not there. And now next what we want to do is go to Disk Utility. So there are two ways we can do that. One is just on your sidebar, you go into Applications, scroll down, Disk Utility or under Utilities, Disk Utility, and double click. Now if you want another way to do that, what you can do is just in your finder window, you can go to your search and type in disk utility. And you can pull it up from there as well. So once that's up, you can see that we have our, our internal hard drive here, the SSD, which is an APFS volume, which is the best choice for formatting for an SSD. We don't want to do anything to this, so we're going to just get temptation out of the way. This is what we want to look at, our external right here. So going under the Seagate expansion drive, we select that and now we're going to erase it to format it. So again, this will erase everything that's on it. If you're using a drive that contains data, back it up first before you do this. I can't stress that enough. Okay, so we go to erase and now it gives us a chance to title it Let's call it max storage for now. Now under here we want to select the Mac OS extended journal. That's a good choice for use with the time machine. And again I want to mention now this is for an external hard drive for an SSD, an external SSD APFS may be better but this is an external hard drive for time machine so Mac OS extended journal what we want and then under here the partition map now you see we have security options you could where these come in is if when you erase your data you want it to be hard to recover let's say you're selling your external hard drive you want to erase it and sell it so you'd want the data to be hard or impossible to recover you could go to most secure I actually intend on keeping this and hey if it crashed I'd love for the data to be recovered somehow, so I'm going to leave it on fastest. And now we hit erase. Shouldn't take very long, and you can see it's done now. You can also see that the name has changed both here and on our icon. So now we're going to assign this to our time machine. So you can go under Preferences, System Preferences, and you can see Time Machine there. So we'll pull that up, and now we're going to select Disk. So here's my previous one. I'm going to go to Max Storage, Use Disk. Now I have the choice of, of keeping
keeping both of those drives assigned. So there's the one I was using previously and the one that I'm going to use now. And I actually want to just use the new one I'm assigning. So I'm going to replace the old one. And good idea to show Time Machine in the menu bar. That allows you to, that's up here. That allows you to kind of access some simple commands whenever you want to. And then also backing up automatically, that's recommended. That will back it up every day. But be warned that if your external hard drive ever becomes totally full, when it does the new daily backup, it will remove some of the old, the old backups. So be warned about that. And uh, so really that's, that's all there is to it. Now, I'm going to back it up right now. It would likely back up, um, well, it would back up sometime later today, but I'm just going to back it up right now. And that's it. Good to go. I hope that was helpful. Again, this is a very specific video, specific situation of erasing an external hard drive, formatting it for use with Mac, specifically for Time Machine. Again, hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.